<laughs> Every single time I was doing so good. Take 50 bajillion. Hi sugar cookies, thanks for joining me. For those of you who are new around here, I'm Cookie, your lifestyle. And you're watching a food, fashion, and lifestyle channel. <coughs> I'm gonna share with you my little goodie haul. There's some good stuff. I think uh, I might have gone a little overboard. Don't judge me, my house, my rules, your house, your rules. It's the holiday season. That's my store and I'm sticking to it. This goodie haul, none of it is sponsored. This is just all the yummy stuff that I got from my hot beverage station. Oh my goodness. These Monin syrups are fabulous. They don't have garbage in them. And I got them at Marshall's for $7.99 when they go upwards on Amazon of $16, even $19.99. I love these hot chocolate spoons. Sugar cookies, I want to encourage you to watch the video all the way till the end because I have a bonus that you won't want to miss. And it's a delicious one too. I'm just saying, stick around. These ornament baubles are cocktail mixers for alcoholic beverages. No worries if you don't drink any alcohol, you can always mix them with club soda or sparkling water, a little bit of real juice, throw in a little bit of uh, a sprig of rosemary or real thyme. You're going to be fabulous and festive for your party or just for yourself. As you'll see, the centerpiece there has a lot of gems from the Dollar Tree. I had inspiration from my table runner that features a lot of woodland creatures. I absolutely love the whole ensemble of what I've got going on. I've already cleared the station that's right there and I'm going to polish it. So far having these mats from the Dollar Tree as a protector on top of the wood has really worked out. So I'm going to continue using that as a barrier. But let me show you the runner that I got so beautiful. This is something that I've been looking for a while. I love the look of cable knit, especially for the winter. And the fact that this is like that sagey, almost olive color, it makes it very, very neutral. I'm going to, of course, scotch guard it to protect it. And I'm going to layer underneath those plastic mats to protect the wood and be a barrier between this and the wood. And the scotch guard is gonna protect it from, you know, stains and make it easy to wash and things. But look at this, how pretty. Do you see the reflection of the gold? I am a big fan of the Thomasville Lemon Oil for your wood. It cleans your woods beautifully. It nourishes them. It conditions them. Oh my goodness. You do have to put some <laughs> elbow into it because you need to work it well into the wood and then you need to wipe it off with a nice clean cloth as I'm doing right here. I absolutely love it. This is not sponsored. This is just what I'm using to get good. I always have to have some music as I'm cleaning. How about you? Can we appreciate the beautiful glass finish that's on top of this wood? It is so beautiful. Like I mentioned, you do have to put a little bit of elbow movement into that to give it that nice finish. And I love using a microfiber dust cloth. As you saw in my hand here, I use one for polishing and then one to finish it off and clean it nice and clean with no polish on it. I like to take all of these items out this way. I see what's left behind. I can gauge the space properly. I can also, you know, declutter and see what needs to go, what needs to stay. These place mat, these place mats have worked wonderfully. I stacked three of them underneath the coffee machine. Well, underneath the runner that I'm going to be placing in just a few seconds, you're gonna, it's coming up. I fuss and fuss and fuss. Are you a fuster? Because I'm kind of a fuster. This runner is by Max Studio. I purchased it at TJ Maxx, not sponsored. I paid $14.99 for it, and it is a beautiful cable knit. I absolutely love the textile. I love the texture of it, and I like how neutral it is. I am going to be scotch guarding this as well. I didn't show that on the video because I didn't think you needed to see that. And uh, it was here that I realized I put the wrong side around, the label was sticking out, and we just can't have that. Mm -hmm. 
Sugar cookies, I want to encourage you to use what you have. Shop your stash. I'm using this tray. Yes, I had it in my previous display, but that's okay because this is bougie on a budget. <laughs> Coffee station inspiration, okay? And I'm using this placemat. I switched it out because I wanted to have somewhat of a neutral-ish kind of backdrop. And you can build from there. I'm quite pleased with that. And you'll see, I'm bringing in my husband's Charlie Brown Christmas tree from last year. I purchased that for $5 at Walmart, not sponsored. This time you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. Repurpose, recycle, reuse, revamp. Make it look fabulous. So what, you've had it for a while. I love Star Anna's. It gives a beautiful, beautiful aroma to the environment. I'm so glad that I waited to purchase these online because I found both of these at TJ Maxx for $5.99 each. Not sponsored, just giving you the information of what's available out there. Bougie on a budget. These ceramic votives I purchased at Dollar General for $3 a piece. I purchased these about a month or so. Oh no, I purchased these about two months ago and they're absolutely beautiful. You can use things for more than what they're created for. These cable knit mugs I purchased over three years ago at Big Lots for $3. They have different kinds now. Go to uh, these type of stores and see what you find so you can be bougie on a budget. I'm trying to fix and finagle and see which design I like the, the best, but uh, let me know which one you like the best. <laughs> You may be asking yourself, what am I getting ready to do with this little clothespin right here and these delicious white chocolate truffles? Watch, watch. watch. Ta-da! As we take the chocolatey baubles off the tree or the truffles, I put the little clothespins in here. Can you stand it? I'm, su I'm such a sucker for little or miniature things. This is such a cute idea. I used to do it for my daughter and her friends for the holidays after school. So much fun. This is my husband's Charlie Brown tree. And this year it's getting a makeover by doing this. Use what you have, right? And it's cute. It, they look like ornaments. They look like baubles. This tree, I got it from Walmart last year. But these are around so many different places. Look at that, how cute. I'll get back with the final tour.
a view from the top those snowflakes those three attached snowflakes came from the Dollar Tree again not sponsored I just wanted to have something wintry and festive in my swampish Floridian home <laughs> I just love the way everything came together now you will see that I have um, everything arranged kind of in a festive manner but you're gonna see later down the line that I changed the station yet again just to pare it back down to daily use my house my rules <laughs> I just wanted to give you the festive inspiration this is another view I absolutely love this who knew you can be frugal and fabulous bougie on a budget mm -hmm. you saw it here first tell your friends about it Being that we just saw my hot beverage station, I thought that we should make a special hot coffee. Not sponsored. This is just what I love. In here is this particular coffee right here that I can only find it either on Amazon or Target. And I absolutely love this coffee. This is the instant espresso coffee and it looks like that. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Let me empty that right in here. When I was stationed overseas, I would order cases. It's that serious. You can include this coffee in hot cocoa, in tiramisu. What I'm gonna start off with is some organic heavy whipping cream, Ghirardelli caramel or whatever caramel sauce you like. I can't find this anymore. I got it at Target. This is delicious. This whipping cream, but this one will do just fine. That's for topping. And some cinnamon. Just like that. Because I'm not gonna be adding any sugar to this because with this stuff, trust me, it is enough. Some heavy whipping cream, but I am going to cut it with some filtered water. I've added some filtered water to the heavy cream. Now I'm going to microwave these in increments of 10 seconds till it's to my liking. And then I'm gonna add the instant coffee. I've already microwaved the heavy cream. Now I'm going to take a nice spoonful, tablespoonful, and add it. Now this is to taste. We like our coffee kind of strong here. This coffee is so creamy though. Oh my gosh, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that beautiful coffee and it's so creamy. It has a good mouth feel. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Hope that if you can find this coffee by ordering it either on Amazon, again, not sponsored. <laughs> But if you can find it on Amazon or if you can find it at your local Target, you're going to love this. A little bit of cinnamon powder to the mix so you have that beautiful cinnamon flavor in the background. My husband is not too crazy about flavored coffees, but this particular coffee he really does like. And I'm gonna add just a little more drizzle of the caramel just to balance out a little bit of the bitterness of this coffee because it is quite strong. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful holiday coffee. If you want, you can add a little bit of Bailey's to this. Oh, that's it, we're out. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at that, how pretty. Starbucks who? Add a little drizzle of that. Add a sprinkle. Look at that, how pretty. Love that. Yum. Delicious. Try this and let me know how you like it. Move over, Starbucks. What'd you say, babe? I said move over, Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't get one of these, you ain't doing it right. 
Salut. Salut. Happy how oh guys on your mustache. Our dog is panting because he just finished playing with her. A big boy. So tell me, is it good? Mm -hmm. Delicious, right? Mm, oh. good. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> Cheers, happy holidays. You can make this even extra special with a little eggnog. Spike it with a little Bailey's or something. No judgment here. Enjoy. So tell me, sugar cookies, what do you think? Did you get some inspiration for your hot beverage station? It's not too late. Winter is around the corner, and I know that in some places it's already blizzard and things like that, but I'm in Southern Swampish Florida. Officially, it's still not winter on the calendar. Nonetheless, I digress. Focus, girl, and land that plane. <coughs> what I'm getting at is that you can switch out things in your house to adjust for your seasons, your celebrations. Some people have to celebrate holidays a little earlier than others. I'm just giving you inspiration. I was able to achieve a lot of these things on a budget, but it doesn't have to look like on a budget. Chop for things around your house, pull things from different rooms, it's okay. Who's gonna tell you? Hey, get that off of your shelf. It's your house, your rules, and guess what? If they're like that, they're looking at your stuff real close like that, then welcome, welcome by. by, there's the, there's door. the door, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> if you like this kind of content and you like this video, you found some value in it, even a chuckle, a laugh or two, then smash that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my lifestyle sauce. Psst. Post your notification bell, you know, the ding, 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 dong bell, and select all this way you don't miss any of my videos. Share the video, why? Because this way the algorithm notices and says, hello, she's there. <laughs> pushes me out there and I can bring more content to you. The channel is growing. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your support. I thank you for sharing my videos. I thank you for donating me a thumbs up or two. As I say around here, be blessed, not too stressed, and I'll see you in the next lifestyle moment. <laughs> I switched out my coffee station to suit my daily lifestyle. I encourage you to do the same. Your house, your rules. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> On the other hand, my hair is looking fantastico. It was a wash day. Where's my coffee? Oh, excuse me. If you like this content, I... Hello? Agent 777 here. Mission accomplished.